It's one of the most terrifyingly fascinating places on our planet. Ships and planes simply vanish. Radios and compasses just stop working. And some say they've even spotted UFOs there. I'm not just talking about the one and only Bermuda Triangle. It's got a whole motley crew of at least 11 other vile vortices. So what are they, and how do they form? The guy to ask would probably be Ivan T. Sanderson. He was a writer, a biologist, and a huge fan of the paranormal and inexplicable back in the 50s and 60s. He's the one who coined the term vile vortices in the first place. During his travels, he'd often record his experiences. What caught his attention the most was where the strangest unexplained things kept happening. That is, disappearing ships and whatnot. He was able to map 12 of these places scattered all over the world. But the weird thing is, six of them lie almost perfectly in line above the equator. And the same goes for the six below it. So they are… Number 1. The Bermuda Triangle Of course, you gotta start with the most infamous among the 12. Also known as the Devil's Triangle, the Bermuda Vortex has been up to no good for centuries. I'm sure you've heard of the 19th century incidents with the ships Rosalie and Ellen Austin. The first was found totally empty, yet undamaged. The latter found a derelict ship, sent her crew over to check it out, and those crew members ended up disappearing. The list of lost vessels and aircraft is long and still growing. So, what's going on in this body of water connecting Miami, San Juan, and the island of Bermuda? Besides the paranormal theories of wormholes to another dimension and gates to the underworld, this spot is really foggy due to methane gas that sometimes makes it impossible for travelers to see, thus making navigation a little tricky too. Although not leaving a trace is still an unanswered question about these losses. Number 2. The Algerian Megaliths These megaliths were a burial ground made by the Zing Empire, one of the most ancient civilizations on this planet. The megaliths are an architectural anomaly, showing just how advanced these people were for a time when we didn't have technology to help us build stable constructions. Well, you know, with ancient burial grounds, things start getting iffy. To this day, whoever flies over this part of the Sahara Desert often doesn't return. Also, compasses spin like crazy, and electronics start wigging out in this spot. Witnesses have reported that it's covered by a heavy and dark aura that you can instantly feel once you enter it. Ooh. Number 3. Mohinho Jaro This architectural site in Pakistan goes way back to the Indus Valley Civilization in 2500 BCE. Like in Algeria, this society was, for some reason, surprisingly advanced when it came to building and urban planning. The strange thing is that nobody knows what brought an end to the people living in this town. Remains were found, and it looked almost as if everyone had perished at once. Theories are that it could have been some natural disaster, an armed invasion from a neighboring empire, or even angry violent deities. Unfortunately, we don't really know for sure. Number 4. The Dragon's Triangle Heading further east along the same northern line, we arrive in Japan, where the Dragon's Triangle, also called the Devil's Sea, is located. The most astonishing thing about this vile vortex is that there's an underwater city dubbed Japan's Atlantis. And again, we see this anomaly of ancient civilizations creating incredibly precise architecture. Deep under the sea, you'll find tons of stone monoliths cut with perfect 90-degree angles. But don't put your diving suit on just yet. Due to the fact that all kinds of planes and ships have vanished in the Bermuda Triangle of the Pacific, Japanese authorities have deemed it too dangerous to go anywhere near. Number 5. The Hamakulia Volcano Located in the Ring of Fire, the next vile vortex is the Hamakulia Volcano in Hawaii. Locals treat it with utmost respect, as the volcano is believed to have a mysterious power. The proof? Well, reports have detected strange electrical activity in this area. There was even an eyewitness who said he saw a plane vanish from the radar right in front of his eyes. Number 6. Easter Island 
Now, let's head south of the equator to one of the most isolated places on this planet, Easter Island in Polynesia. This is where you can find nearly 900 Moai statues created by the Rapa Nui people. These figures can weigh up to 90 tons, which makes transporting them pretty much impossible. So, how did they construct and move them for hundreds of years, dating from 1400 to 1650? The most bizarre theories out there put it down to aliens. But something tells me the Rapa Nui probably used a different, less extraterrestrial and more exhausting method. They hired movers. Well, maybe. Number 7. The South Atlantic Anomaly Well, the name says it all. The South Atlantic Anomaly is part of Earth, where natural radiation flows out of control. Astronauts who try to take a peek at this dangerous zone experience hallucinations, and even satellites can't take pictures of it. While paranormal enthusiasts swear it's a portal to another dimension, science has an alternative explanation. This spot off the eastern coast of South America is where the Earth's magnetic field is weakest. This is apparently what causes the strange phenomena. Number 8. Great Zimbabwe oh, Sounds like a theme park a little. Another impressive megalith, this time in Zimbabwe. It was once home to around 20,000 people, but it's now a ghost town. Yet to this day, there's no explanation as to where these people went. There aren't any accounts of major migrations, military conflict, nothing. There aren't even any myths or legends connected to it, which leaves us with one of the world's greatest mysteries. Number 9. The Wharton Basin This place off the western coast of Australia in the Indian Ocean has very odd geological events. Huge earthquakes, one after another, wouldn't seem so strange if this spot was a place where two tectonic plates meet. But it isn't. The Wharton Basin is well within the borders of the Australian plate. But researchers are pretty sure that a new fault line is forming here. Another portal, perhaps? Maybe that would explain the planes that vanish in an instant. Number 10. The Loyalty Islands Poor Australia has vile vortices on both sides. Heading over to the east, there's the Loyalty Islands. A lot of strange whirlpools were found on this patch of the South Pacific, as well as plenty of geologic activity. But what about the island scientists say disappeared there in 2012? Well, before you don your tinfoil hat, I'll let you know that there never really was an island in that spot to begin with. It was on maps, sure, but that was a mistake from the start, probably due to someone goofing up the coordinates. So technically, scientists undiscovered this island. Number 11. The North and South Poles They're on opposite ends of this planet, but they've got two things in common – ice and odd disappearances. The North Pole was where an expedition of 129 men got lost and found 150 years later. The South Pole, however, has its own way of terrifying us. Some researchers in Antarctica were left speechless when they found the remains of what seemed like pre-human alien civilizations. Oh, come on now. Well, we've circled the globe twice, and now you know what 12 areas to avoid when traveling by ship or plane. So, the only thing I'm left wondering is, why these exact 12 spots are surrounded in mystery? The most popular theory about these vile vortices has to do with what's called ley lines. This is basically when important landmarks, religious sites, or human-made structures are perfectly and evidently in line with one another. As for why they were placed so exactly, it's so that travelers can navigate through them easily, sort of like an ancient map before we had Google. A big part of this theory comes with spiritual and mystical significance as well as feng shui. Some theorists even believe that ancient civilizations would use these spots as portals to hop from one place to another, Minecraft style. Okay. Another theory is that these 12 spots are actually part of a specific way the planet is organized. Almost like a giant puzzle with the pieces meeting at these vortices. And since they serve as sort of centerpieces, they become hot spots of energy. More specifically, proponents point out the electromagnetic abnormalities in these areas, which could be a possible cause for the unexplained events. 
This energy could mess with radar systems and cause electrical malfunctions in ships and planes. And of course, skeptics prefer to find answers outside of the paranormal. Many of these vortices see a lot of geologic activity in severe weather, which could simply be a result of tectonic plates, air pressure systems, or ocean currents meeting. I mean, the Bermuda Triangle is also known as Hurricane Alley. But then again, perhaps these physical, measurable geologic activities are the result of the paranormal. I'll let you decide where you stand on that one. So, feel free to share your own theories about this down in the comments. And if you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. But hey, don't get lost in a vortex just yet. Whew, oh, lost that guy. We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out. All you have to do is click the left or right video, yep, one of those, and enjoy. Stay on the bright side of life.